this module i will discuss about genetic counseling what is genetic counseling genetic counseling can be defined as a communication process which deals with the risk of developing or transmitting genetic disorder steps in genetic counseling there are five important steps in genetic counseling first one is establishing genetic diagnosis second step is estimation of recurrence risk that is the recurrence of a particular genetic disorder third one is communication in a sympathetic manner that is we have to communicate with the patient in a sympathetic manner fourth one the discussion of options that is what are the alternatives that is how can manage the problem fifth and the last one long term contact and support that is we have to maintain a long term contact with the concerned or affected individual and we have to provide a long term support moreover genetic counseling should be non coercive and non judgmental that is we should not force any decision on the concerned individual moreover genetic counselor can advise for adoption that is parents can opt for adoption when they are at high risk of having a child with serious genetic disorder so if there is a risk of having a child with severe genetic disorder they can opt for adoption um consanguinity what is consanguinity or consanguineous marriage that is marriage between the blood relatives is called consanguineous marriage now there are three major types of genetic relationships first degree second degree and third degree first degree genetic relationship means that is parent child or brother sister so if there is a parent child marriage or brother sister marriage occurs there is a every chance of 50% risk of appearance of recessive characters now if there is a second degree genetic relationship is there that is if there is a marriage between uncle niece or aunt nephew then there is a proportion of shared gene is 1/4 and there is a 5 to 10% risk of your appearance of recessive characters then third degree or the first cousin there is a proportion of shared gene is 1/8 and there is a 3 to 5% risk of appearance of recessive characters so first degree marriage that is parent child which is called incestuous and there is a 50% there is the highest risk of appearance of recessive characters and also if there is a marriage between brother and sister frequency of abnormalities in consanguineous marriage major type of abnormalities which occur it is mental retardations there is a 25% chance of mental retardation in case of consanguineous marriage then there is a 10 to 15% chance of autosomal recessive disorder moreover there is a 10% chance of congenital malformation so over and above it appears that consanguineous marriage is harmful as a result of which recessive characters appears and also there are various type of congenital malformation 
appears. Now, in case of genetic counseling, one of the important problem is disputed paternity. So, if the biological parents are not established, it is difficult to provide genetic counseling. So, in case of establishing biological parentage, DNA fingerprinting is one of the most important diagnostic protocol which is used for solving the disputed paternity and microsatellite markers are used for DNA fingerprinting and biological parents could be established. So over and above the genetic counseling is very much important for management of genetic disorders. In this module we have provided key concepts then books for further reading, some quizzes are there and also study materials are there for your download. Thank you for attending our online course.